We's going to get silly, bitches. Goodness gracious. I got so many comments from people saying that I needed to watch Pit of Consciousness live in Kiev. Or Kiev. That was Kiev. Don't really know. So that's what I'm doing today. Welcome back to the Dragon's Den, you guys. I'm Dragon. Ginger is what's on the menu because this band has just blown my mind repeatedly. I, every Ginger song that I've listened to has just been nuts. Really stretching the capabilities musically. At least, at least that's what it sounds like they're doing to me. But they're crushing it. Masters of their instruments and their vocalists. Holy crap, what a powerhouse. Singing and screaming better than I can do pretty much anything, you know? Also, real quick, I just wanted to shout out Bala Hala. Not only only is he like a baller, but he's hollering at me about some ginger recommendations because homeboy has sent me like 10 different songs that I need to check out. This being one of them. So appreciate you, homeboy. Now into ginger we go. Oh, wait, hold on. We got a one thing real quick. <laughs> Needed to expand my consciousness before diving into the pit of consciousness. You more go quite out. All right, here we go. Oh my God, that snare tone in a live setting. Ooh, guilty case. Yo, they tell this time live? Turn the symbols up. Man, it's sweaty in there. I really like that China placement, too. That's interesting. Not to mention that China sounds fantastic. was smooth that snuck up on me anybody makes that like I've heard vocalists do some crazy stuff but she's got this unique growl when they're live man I am so baked that this like this is blowing my mind He's 
tearing them double kick pedals up. I love it. Wow. Like, and I, I think what was hitting so different about that is the fact, like, it was live, you know? Like, it's one thing to be a, like, tight studio musician. It's another thing to be able to replicate it all live. And you could tell that wasn't the first song of the set. And they're playing it at, like, 100% accuracy after probably being winded. It's probably hot in there. You know, there's all sorts of all sorts of different things that can affect you when you're live. And they're still just crushing it. That's amazing. You know, normally their style isn't a style that I would jive with very hard. But, like, they have this unique take on on this. Uh, it's, like, oh, not even genty prog metal. It's, it's, it's very unique. It's very much them. Me personally, sometimes I can get overwhelmed when a band has so many super duper talented musicians and they're all like able to do these crazy things. But it's like, how do you keep up with all this in your brain? And and sometimes like, you know, super groups can be great, but also they're normally not better than the, the bands they came from, I think. And maybe that's just a hot take, but like it just feels like everybody in Ginger is, uh, again, a master of what they do. They've perfected their instrument uh, or, or, I mean, the voice is an instrument. So yeah, she's, she's so talented with not only the singing, but also with the screaming and to be able to, to switch back and forth in a live setting that takes crazy, crazy stamina and endurance. So that's, that's incredible. Uh, thank you. Thank you guys for telling me to watch this. This is awesome. Go support Ginger, add them to your Spotify, your Apple music, subscribe to their channel, do whatever you got to do. Maybe they're coming to play a show near you. You can buy some merch, do the thing. Ginger's awesome. You can subscribe to my channel because I'm doing more ginger reactions. And if you have anything you want to see me react to, let me know in the comments with the word contact or another option. You could check out the link tree in the description. It's got my socials and my discord. You could hit me up that way. Let me know what you want to see me react to. Thank you guys again so much for being here. And I'll catch you in the next one. Dragon Abides.